time when I stuff him, and I go for this, he's gonna sprawl, he's gonna drop his knee down. So I'm gonna just sprawl my leg back a little bit. Now from here, um, instead of sprawling my left leg all the way back, I'm gonna kind of just keep it in. Um, that when I would sprawl back is when I want to just break his grip. But right now, um, I'm trying to score a lot of points. I'm trying to score back points and get the pin. So I'm going to give him my knee. So my knee and his knee should almost be touching. Um, my back leg is uh, going to slide up around here, right around uh, on the outside of the arm. And then my right arm, my right hand is going to attack his, uh, the bottom of his shoe. I'm going to attack the bottom of his shoe and I'm going to slide it out here. Just so that I can get enough to get into uh, his, like, grab his shin, the bottom of his shin. Now, uh, once we're in this position, my left arm is going to go from his waist to a high crotch. So we start here, I drag it out. Now I'm going here, I'm slipping it into a high crotch. I'm going to grab an S grip, like this, finger lock, into this position. Now I'm going I'm to stay knee slide in again. If my knee is back, you can slip his head to that high, outside high crotch and finish. So that's why our knees stay in. Now from here, I'm gonna, uh, you know, either before I get the S grip or if I'm just here, I'm gonna bump to his hip. Now, I'm gonna switch my lock. So right now, my left elbow is deep. I'm gonna switch it so that my right elbow is deep around his leg, here. When I do that, my left elbow comes up on top of his ribs, here. Now from here, basically this bone is digging into the side of his ribs. And I'm gonna use that to lift his leg up, and I'm gonna shove his leg. Now from here, um, whether he slips his head out or keeps it in, I'm gonna go cradle. Now I'll let his head slip out. Now at this point, I can straighten my leg out, take his knee to my armpit here, <coughs> and then get the pin. If he tries to fight my knees with his hands, I can use my knees to fight his arms, and now I got the pin here. So, Again, this time I scroll back, his knees are blocked. I'm gonna grab the bottom of the shoe. Again, on this opposite side. So instead of going this side to the same side as my leg, I'm going to the other side, point his foot out. I'm not lifting it up and ripping it out. That'll hurt his knee. So I'm just sliding his toe on the ground so I can get to his, uh, the front of his shin. Now I slip my high crotch in, bump him to his hip. Now I'm locking the S grip. Right now my left elbow is deep. I can't get a cradle if my left elbow is deep. So my left elbow is gonna come up to the ribs and my right elbow is gonna go deep to the mat. Here. Now my uh, bone is in uh, inside his ribs. I'm gonna lift up his leg and shelf it. Now from here, I'm gonna let his head slip out and I'm gonna cradle, extend my legs. If he's fighting me here, if he's fighting me here, I'm gonna use my knees to bump his hand out of the way. Here. Now I knee slide underneath him. Knee goes to the armpit, chest stays on chest, and I get the pin. You guys lock up a cradle on your mat. <laughs>